Held without bail tonight, a woman accused of killing a man with her car is behind bars. On top of that, investigators say Laura Real also cheated on court-ordered drug tests. Tonight, the victim's father is speaking out about this and the new law passed in his son's name. From the South County Mobile Newsroom, I went to news reporter Walt Buteau is live outside Superior Court in South Kingstown. The prosecutor told the court today that Laura Real used someone else's urine to pass those court-ordered drug tests. No drug charges connected to this deadly crash, but it was more than enough to motivate a change in the law. The state of Rhode Island versus Laura Real. Laura Real's driving record already included more than a dozen traffic violations before she was charged with running this Charlestown light and crashing into 27-year-old Colin Foote. We don't want Colin to ever be forgotten for his sacrifice and what happened to our family. And our mission is to make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. The Foots watched this morning as Real was cuffed and taken away to be held without bail on a drug charge probation violation. Following the legal process is difficult for them, but Foote's father says stories about his son help. And, and the co many comments we've gotten about his character, about his contributions, um, about how he made people laugh, those, those are the things that, uh, that bring us comfort and moments of joy. In his son's memory, he pushed for the Colin B. Foot Act, which closed a loophole that may have allowed Real to keep her license after that string of traffic violations. How can you be nothing but, but angry and horrified? But uh, we want justice to, to prevail here, and uh, we're following the process very carefully to see that, that hopefully it does. The way the law is now, Laura Real could have lost her license for up to a year. The way the law was, she lost her license for one month. Live with the South County Mobile Newsroom in Wakefield, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.